Ragnarok to 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 uh, so yeah, we you know we just did a video on Mark Unard's channel about um, why Spawn should have or can maybe still be in Justice League. Why he should be. And now we're gonna look at the car counter arguments to why you should have to wait for him to be in Mortal Kombat 11. Um, so, I have one off the bat that I want to talk about. Okay. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. In Mortal Kombat, we've seen characters use different variations of weapons, having weapon styles. Mm. So this is the I first thing that came into my mind when I thought about him being in Mortal Kombat. I think I know what you're going to say. So we have different variations, and let's say that they have three styles like they've done in the past before, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have our look at our first possible style that Spawn could be using, which I would call his melee style, which actually doesn't use melee. We can have Spawn just floating or holding his arms and chains attack with the cape attacking That'd as really well. Cool. I was going to say, yeah, this would be one of my points, like... At first, I'm like, oh, variations, it's going to split up his moveset, and then what I was thinking for him, about. It, it can work. For, yeah, because like, playing government does it too, it was nice just to kind of have like all the moves together and then be able to get some other ones, but I think with some characters, variations do work, and I think Spawn is one of them because he has so many different crazy power sets. He's got a wide array of like, So I think for him, it's like he can maybe get away with like having it kind of divided just because there's so many different fighting styles in general, not just like, oh, we're going to change and replace these moves with these moves or something like that. Yeah, so we can have like... But it'd be kind of more like a tribal situation than like, right. say, like a reptile situation where he only got, unfortunately, like one move. Exactly. One. So we can use different, utilize different play styles who like different aspects of spawn. So we can use attack melee where we can, he can attack with chains, he can attack with uh, created weapons, maybe energy blasts from his cape. The, uh, the skulls and the cape just attacking, and then his secondary could be guns. He could be a long distance, he could switch to long distance and fire off guns and energy blasts from his hands. And then the third variation could be just straight up spawn, like coming in for punching attacks with the spikes going, being larger and longer, and he could just be a, a melee man. Be, or maybe a, like a necroplasm, even where he shoots a lot of blasts. And yeah, or he sh that. the necroplasm would be good if he had they overpowered the blast, but they made it so every time he blasted, it took away a little bit of health. Oh. So uh, it would be like um, Scarlet's uh, blood. Blast yeah, maybe. because yeah. in the comics, when he uses his powers, That's he actually loses his soul. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that would actually, and I wouldn't true. be, that, to me it would make sense, so I wouldn't be mad at that. Because anyway, you don't have to be stick with that, you could switch back and forth depending on the situation. So that was my first reason for why I believe he should be in Mortal Kombat 11. Okay, so for the second reason, and I'm really tired of hearing it. You better stop it, stupid! <laughs> but I guess I can't deny its validity. 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 <laughs> he can be more gory, fatalities, more violence. Um, Get over here! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, we know Spawn is a violent comic. He can... Um, Yet people. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 you know, eviscerate, <laughs> decimate. I, I, look, I, I can't. You know, here's the thing: if he can, if he has to be in Mortal Kombat, can he at least be the most violent freaking character in the damn game? Like, it's really that big of a deal. But anyway, no, I do think it would be like you know, like I said in the Injustice two video, we, it's not that we don't want him to be able to you know be violent and all that, but it just wasn't a big deal to us. But hey. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to say no to that. If he gets some fatalities, he gets some brutalities. You know, I, I think it would be awesome. You know, if it wasn't fact we had to wait for MK11 and just tired of being like kind of messed with about Spawn, I, I would be more, you know, okay with it, especially because of this reason. And maybe if, I, if he is in MK11 and I see him doing all these fatalities, I'm like, maybe like, maybe like, man, why did I want him in Justice 2? I want, I want that to be the case. I want him to be so damn violent that I completely forget about wanting him in a less violent fighting. I mean, we've been trolled before, and, like, I just don't want to have to, like, look at my Twitter one day and be like, Oh, no! It's Ed Boon! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, because we know he, he, is, he has a tendency to troll us. Because he, here's the other thing. Like, you know, in Justice 2, they had these polls for, like, oh, what character you won in the game? There was one with Red Hood. He won. Guess who got in the game? game. One with Starfire. She won. Guess who got in the game? In the game! Sub-Zero. He won. Yes, in the game. game. 
Then there's um, Raiden, who did well in that. He actually came in third in that poll. Uh, and he got in the game. EA, it's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Hellboy did great on the... He, he came in second in the poll at Spawn. Spawn wins that poll. Not a bad end to a night. <laughs> Where the hell is he? You know, and... No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and like, okay. Alright, I've heard that supposedly um, Todd McFarlane can be very strict with his characters. And we mean no disrespect to him, you know, but this is what we've heard. I've also heard he's already given Ed Boon and NetherRealm Studios the okay to have him in the game. Yes. But I, what I could be maybe be thinking is maybe, like, you know, they considered him for just two, they really wanted to, but maybe, like... And you know, maybe maybe Tom McFarlane pushed him for Mortal Kombat because he thought of the violence. I, yeah, because what I think might have happened is... He got they got the rights for around MKX, but the problem is they decided who all the DLC characters would be already. And they're like, alright, let's maybe consider him from Justice 2, but then when kind of I guess they called Tom McFarlane, he's like, no, I really want him to be able to be more violent. And, and I that. think they actually went with the theme and they chose Hellboy over Spawn. Because he came in second and Hellboy isn't as He's nowhere near as violent. Spawn. And he's more of a human soul heart. He's, the the thing about Hellboy from the comics is he's more of a human than he is a devil. But people only judge him based because on his outward appearance. appearance. So, you know, I, we could see that being the possibility, but here's the thing. We don't know. NetherRealm is not telling us. I'm like, I love NetherRealm. I, I've been getting their games since I was like eight years old. I get all the W, I get most of the WB games, but it's like some transparency wouldn't hurt. And if it is some disagreement with Tom McFarlane, just be like, there's nice ways of going about it. Just say, like, you know, hey, you know, we really want to put in the game, but we just couldn't, you know, figure out a way to make them work. That's all, and we'll maybe consider for MK11. Like, yeah, just, just let know. us know. I know, because there wasn't even an a, a, um, a interview about the DLC selection, and it didn't really even say anything about Spawn. They didn't even talk about the, the Turtles that much. It talks mostly about Adam and the reason they chose that version of Ray Palmer, so they wanted representation. Which really bothers me, because I really wanted Katana, you know, from Suicide Squad, to be in the game. And you could have had the more iconic Ray Palmer that's in Legends of Tomorrow and all that, and then had Katana, who would be not only an Asian, but a female as well. So I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> Also with the girl power, because she's a freaking princess, and she's also, like, the leader of Adenia. Oh, I meant from DC Suicide Squad, I'm not... Oh. <laughs> oh, that Katana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, I don't know if Katana from Mortal Kombat is Asian. I guess she is, but not really, because she's a demon. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, I she's, always, like, she's always been, like, yeah, I mean, she, represented she, as... She's Asian in spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, but, she's, no, I was talking about the one from DC. Katana, like, yeah, yeah, the one with the mask and the... yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Um, the Japanese mob girl from the Yakuza who, like, what? She's yeah, like her, su- her husband's soul is in a, is in is a sword, her sword, right? And she's um, taking revenge on those who, like, try to... You know, I like Enchantress, too. I would prefer Katana, though. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, I think that's the big... That's one of the big points for Spawn being in, 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 in Mortal Kombat 11. And as annoying as it is, I'm tired of hearing it. It is... I can't deny that, you know, there, there's good points to it. Um... No, another good point. Um, it's, not, it's not a great point, but I, I thought of this earlier. Maybe it could kind of have a little better cross from the promotion with the upcoming movie than Justice 2 would, because it's like, we know both um, MK11 and the Spawn movie aren't coming like super soon. I mean, they're maybe not like, you know, in the far future, but they're not they're not super recent. Hey, this, is, this is a Christian channel. <laughs> but um, you know, maybe if Spawn wasn't in Justice 2, then people would be like, oh yeah, that, that guy. You know, he was cool, okay. And then, like, the movie kind of comes out, and they're like, oh, yeah, he was in Injustice 2, okay. Um, but if, he, if, like, the movie and Mortal Kombat 11 are kind of close to each other, and Spawn is in Mortal Kombat 11, it could kind of maybe, like, raise general awareness for Spawn more. So, like, that could maybe help. I know, again, yeah, that's kind of uh, reaching a little bit, but I, I, I do think there's some, like, truth to it. Something even more that has more validity to it is Injustice. Like we saw with Batgirl, yeah, she'd be cool and she'd be utilized, but there's not much to it. Mortal Kombat, however, those concepts we were talking about in the first video, click the description box below if you didn't watch it, you need to watch that video first, it's the second of the two-part video. Spawn is from Hell, and in the Mortal Kombat universe, Netherrealm pretty much is Hell. Yeah. But all the characters that we've seen in Mortal Kombat are one-note characters. If you're from Netherrealm, you're a dick. If you're from Edenia, you're awesome. If you're from Earthrealm, you're heroic. I was gonna say, with unless, some exceptions. Yeah. There's there's a few exceptions, but I think Spawn could really push that to the forefront because I feel like there would be 
a war between them in his arcade about like who gets to utilize the power of spawn on their team for the mm. Mortal Kombat. That would be cool. To represent them in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So we would have Nether the Nether Realm trying to say, hey, he's from our realm, like he's gonna represent us. And then we have Earth Realm saying he was once human. He once was a proud military server, he served his country, he served Earth yeah. Realm, he needs to serve Earth Realm in death as well. And then we're gonna have the Adenians being like he has the power to destroy the gods, and we need to have him on our side so that <laughs> we have a defense in Adenia. It just kind of sucks. He wouldn't be in the story mode. <laughs> unless they change that, unless they add some kind of extra story mode like they did in Tekken 7. Mm -hmm. Like, instead of having an, uh, just an arcade mode, which it pretty much was oh, an arcade What mode. if Spawn was like a Kuma in Tekken 7 he was actually included in the story? If he's oh a special God. guest character, See, that would, that make, would make me intense. feel a lot better. I will wait years for that if he's a special and guest. And that would also probably mean he'd be in the base game. So once MK11 is out, we get him. You know, there's no waiting for the season pass or whatever like that. And I was going to say, I know in the first video I mentioned, I bring up the whole thing with like Spawn being in Injustice 2 is like Sonic being in Smash Bros. and Spawn being in MK is like Sonic being in PlayStation All-Stars. But I was thinking there are maybe like a few characters it would be cool to see Spawn fight and interact with. Scorpion is obviously number one. And this is more of me personally, seeing Spawn and Noob Saibot in the same game would be really cool. Noob Saibot's my favorite Mortal Kombat character. Spawn is arguably my favorite comic book character. And they, they're also both very similar. Like, yeah, okay, Noob Saibot's more of a Wraith. Spawn is, I guess, more of a Spectre. Like, you'd say he's more like Scorpion, but even still. I mean, even with those interactions, I'd want to see him with his human interactions more. We have a lot of military True, like him you know, with like Jax. So like, Jax, um, Jax and Sonya could be like, hey, we remember Al Simmons. We remember you when you were human. Yeah. Like, you know, that he would have cool. reasons to interact with Striker or Cabal, too, because they were like, you know, the cops or SWAT teams, whatever. Um, maybe we, maybe we, he plays different roles in the game and plays all sides, and Spawn shows up and starts fighting them, and for some reason they go, Al? And he, he like, has he's overcome with, like, memory of, like, Jax, Jax, Jax why? Yeah. You know what I mean? We can, Fun fact, uh... The guy that played Spawn in the, the live-action movie actually played Jax in, I think, Mortal Kombat Legacy. Michael J. White. Michael J. White, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's a little Easter egg that can be in there. Yeah. Ooh, I got something for you. One that I didn't even think about until now. What? The Crypt. Mm -hmm. We can unlock some awesome Spawn concept art. Possibly they can get the rights to the HBO like animated series, and we can watch some clips from the animated series, cool. videos. Uh, we can read some digital comics. The only thing is, I just feel like the crypt doesn't go in as much that detail anymore. I mean, maybe they would, maybe they would up that, but I, I don't know. I don't uh, know. Maybe, maybe it would be cool. I, you know, it would be neat though. I mean, we had Mortal Kombat 10 was the last one, right? Yeah, so this is this will be Mortal Kombat, Kombat 11. Yeah. I feel like Mortal Kombat 10 was kind of like the Tekken tag of the Mortal Kombat series because they kind of not yeah. roster wise. I'm not talking. Oh, about, I'm not talking oh, about okay. roster wise. I mean, in tying the series together because mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat 9 started it from a new canon. You know what I sort mean? of. I guess Mortal Kombat 9 was like... It was a new jump freeze. It was like a new jump off. I get See, the problem is, I don't think any fighting game is kind of done what MK9 did. That's the thing. Because it's like, it's a reboot, but it's a self-aware reboot in the sense that like, that stuff actually happened, but... They, it's retelling you know, the same story in different ways. Yeah. Um, so it's like, it's hard. I, I see what you mean, though. It's just hard to, I guess, um, compare it. But, um, yeah. And, um... I also was thinking, because I was thinking, like, okay, so if Spawn's a guest character in MK11, you know there's going to be all the other guest characters, and they, they love the guest characters. I'm thinking, like, I thought it'd be kind of cool if, like, like each guest character was a representative of, like, the types of guests they picked in the past. So Spawn would be comic, like Hellboy, and I, you know, I guess GNMT. Um, they could do uh, Talion and uh, Calibrimbor from um, Shad uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War or Shadow of Mordor. I think they'd be awesome. They would represent, like, the game ones, like, uh, like Kratos was in MK9. And see, I also kind of think, not to go off tangent, I actually think they're kind of better for Mortal Kombat because otherwise they're just kind of like guy with sword and well, knives and bow. You, I agree with that to an extent, but not in the way that you think. If they stick with the thematic elements like they did with like, okay, we're gonna have all horror movie guest characters. I'm gonna say they're gonna stick with all ultra-violent comic book characters. So we're gonna get to see people that most people don't know about. People like Pit, people like The Max, People like Savage yeah. Dragon, yeah. like we're talking about like ultra violent image comics characters that like most people don't really know that much about. Mm -hmm. This could bring them back into the forefront because mm -hmm. of Spawn's popularity. How about the Darkness? How about like that? how about Witchblade? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it could literally turn into something awesome. We can have um, the tenth, which I, I, I doubt you've read that. I, I was huge into Image Comics, so like, uh, there's a lot of it that I know. We can have Invincible, like, you know. I'm, anyway, I'm, my point is, is that like, we can have an awesome, mm -hmm. ultra-violent comic book cast, just like we had the horror movie cast before. Prior. That'd be cool, Phil. I was gonna say the um, the last two guest characters could be. Um, I was sort of like. Um, Pennywise, I think he would be kind of cool to do so many crazy stuff. And he would go for the, the horror theme, obviously. And I actually think it would be kind of cool to see him fight Spawn because, what, well, isn't there another character so he Spawn that disguises himself as a clown but is actually some demonic being? Yeah, his name's the Clown. <laughs> you know what I mean. You violate Violator. Yeah, but know. in that form, his name is the, the Clown. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, and I guess the fourth one, I was kind of debating between either Shredder or Rorschach. Rorschach, in another case, like, I really like him, but I think he would need to be in Mortal Kombat because otherwise he's just a guy that beats things up. And Shredder, I think, would be cool because like, I kind of think he'd, I'd, I kind of like him more than the TMNT, but I think you could get away with him being more violent. But those are just, you know, some ideas I had. So, um, Ed Boon, if you're listening, um, just do a good job. I don't care which game you put him in. I kind of want him in Injustice 2 only because it's here now if, and I want to play as exactly, him now. I know. But if he, if, see, all right, if you can't get him in Injustice 2, just tell us why. You know, there's, there, there's, I'm sure there's nice ways of telling us. Like, please, we just want to know. We want to know what's up. So that's going to be uh, the end of part two of this video. Uh, we want to thank you guys for stay, sticking with us and engaging in us with this little friendly um, debate and um, if you guys have any further ideas of to support which one he should be in more we'd love to hear it in the comment section down below you can also hit us up on instagram and twitter if you want to challenge our ideas or if you want to engage with us more to find out about our deeper issues i mean i have a feeling you're still probably more people think it should be mortal combat but hey you know I'm, I'm, I'm glad at least look at both sides of the spectrum right and like uh, nobody's right or wrong it's all yeah. a matter of opinion so we love love just love to hear yours um so you want to take it away since it's your channel yeah you know um you check out martin arts uh, channel in the description below and as i always say another time another place keep being awesome